Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life video. It's been slightly over a month since I started my internship here and I wanted to update you guys with my typical day since it's more constructed and scheduled now. So let's get started. So I usually wake up at 5.30 because uh, Isabel goes to work pretty early. So we wake up and then we get ready, have breakfast and then she leaves at about 6.37. And then from there, I usually check my email to see any new schedule updates or any new work assigned to me. Once I get those things sorted, I usually either record a video, script a video, or start my work. Sometimes if I have any leftover tickets from the previous day, I use this time to do those. My company is based in Minnesota and most of my coworkers are from Minnesota, so their workday doesn't start till 10 a.m. my time. At around 10, we get things started and all the scheduled messages go out. If I have any questions for my coworkers or my mentors, I send them then. At around this time, we usually have our daily check-in. It's kind of like a stand-up where you just talk about your to-dos, your issues, how your day was, if you have any blockages, etc. My mentors and my bosses usually go through their days and this is where they assign me tickets if there are any tickets to be assigned. We also use this time to talk about the blockages in our work and use this time to fix those blockages if needed. Good morning, guys. After that, I tend to work on my tickets and reach out to my mentors if I get stuck. Today, I found out that our data warehouse had an issue, so I let my mentor know. Because of this, we had to pause all our work on Metabase, Looker, and any other software that was linked to our data warehouse. Most of my tickets were done anyway, but the ones that weren't had to be kept on hold until the issue was fixed. I then had a meeting with the product and engineering team about our Q3 planning. So I've got this Q3 product and engineering plan meeting right now, and I decided to come out because I wanted to change an environment. Uh, I'm gonna take that meeting right out here and keep you guys updated after. So, yep, enjoy the time lapse. In this meeting, we talked about the plans in this quarter, how we can progress as a company and as a team. We also assign rocks or goals to each individual in the team so that everything's a little more structured and our goal can be attained more easily. We also try to foresee what issues that might come with this quarter so that we can stay ahead. Lastly, we set some expectations and remodel the accountability chart to reflect the new changes. So I just got done with the product and engineering meeting. Uh, I'm going to work on my capstone project right now while I have time before my next meeting. So uh, I'm going to do that out here while listening to this book I found on Audible. It's called Sapiens. It's basically a compilation of human history and I think it's very informative. I like it so far. Highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. I'll catch you guys back after that last meeting. In my free time, I typically work on my capstone project, which I have to present in just about a month now. Currently, I'm working on building a forecasting model, which should be able to predict our over 40,000 clients, uh, individual order patterns based on their historical data. Once I get this done, I'll move on to the next part of my capstone project, which is predicting customer churn. I also spend a lot of this time doing research to effectively reach my goals. So for example, currently I'm researching Facebook profits uh, time series model. I find that it's a very good model and I want to learn more about it. Next, I have a couple meetings to attend. We have this weekly L10 meeting, which is basically a more formal check-in where we go through our quarterly to-dos and goals just to make sure we're on track. We have various different L10s to achieve all the different company goals we have, whether it be within the sales department, orchestration, or the data team. Since I'm shadowing my mentors, I have quite a few of these each week. L10 meetings follow a EOS or traction format. For those of you who want to learn more about this format, I will leave a link down below to a book that helped me understand what EOS was and how it works. These meetings tend to last just about over an hour, sometimes less, and I think they're very productive. We cover rocks or goals, to-dos, issues, and people headlines during the meetings, and we also answer questions at the end. So for example, one of the issues that I faced and brought up during this meeting was that my computer kept crashing. We later found out that this was a problem with my personal computer, and we went ahead and submitted a ticket to get a new computer from the IT department the next day. The meeting always ends with an individualized rating by each person, 
phrase in. This helps to ensure that the meeting continues to be productive and beneficial to the company, and also doesn't waste anyone's time. After that, I continue to work on my capstone project or sort out any tickets that were assigned to me throughout the day. Sometimes I also use this time to chit chat with my mentors about personal and professional advice. After this, we ended the day by going to the gym to give my body some much needed movement after being on a desk the whole day. I hope this video brought you guys some value and you're not able to understand how a typical day as a startup intern looks like. I'll be presenting my Capstone project in just about a month, so stay tuned for that video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Whew.